But first, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, now, you have not been in the library world for a bit, but your master's was in library science? Correct. Yeah, I went to the University of Tennessee um, and got my uh, master's of library science. Um, once I realized you couldn't get that here in Arkansas, you know, the uh, part of the academic common market, which means I could go there and get a degree and pay in-state tuition because Arkansas didn't offer right. that degree. So. Now, I do not mean this to be an insulting question, but I've often wondered what library science is, what you, what you study. Yeah, well, you know, you get, so they break it down into subject areas, so to speak. If you want to go into the social sciences or the hard sciences or public libraries and children's, and so it, there's a vast um, spectrum of, of interest that you can delve into. Um, and you learn some just the mechanics, collection development, um, you know, how to, to find and reference things, but you also just learn a a little bit about subject areas and things like that so um, it, it was a wonderful two years there and I took a very scientific approach of choosing Tennessee so after having got two degrees here um, I, I, I love love the four seasons I loved being in the mountains I love the college town so I took out a map and I just started drawing a line east as far as I could go and then I hit Knoxville and I thought boom that's it a little bit bigger, a little bit. It's about it's little times two. There you go. It's, it's you go. Fayetteville to the second power. So, <laughs> do you think I can? Do you know why you chose library science for a master's? Yeah, um, I grew up. Uh, my mother was a librarian. My father was a newspaper man for the Arkansas Gazette for 25 years, and um, libraries were always just a part of my life. Um, and I can even remember my elementary school librarian, Nell Dean Moore, um, and how she would take Richard Chase's Jack Tales and just bring them to life for me and uh, sitting at her feet when she'd read those stories. And so um, I, I always thought of the library as this magical place um, where you could either escape or, or delve deep into things and learn. And uh, so progressed to, to college and, and uh, Mullins Library was a place to escape to when you lived on campus. I could, you know, you could go up there and, and relax and um, just browse the stacks and find interesting stuff, uh, you know, just kind of um, hunting around. And then when I was in the master's program, you know, you're doing heavy research and, and really digging into uh, subject areas and I always loved the hunt. Mm -hmm. I always loved finding the stuff. I would have stacks of things but it was the, the digesting it all and making it make sense that was not as fun. So um, after I finished my degree program, I was teaching down at West Art. When it was West, when it was West Art. At UA Fort Smith. And um, I had a conversation with my mom about what, where do I go from here? What do I do? And, uh, and just through conversation, she was saying, you know, you always enjoy being in libraries. You know, and I started make, connecting some, some dots around, yeah, you know, and I always loved to hunt, you know, I mean, I loved finding stuff, and I was helping peers find things, and, um, and then she goes, you know what, you ought to just go to library school, and I thought, okay, I'll do that, I'll just go back up to U of A, and that's what I'll do. Well, lo and behold, we don't offer that degree here, and, and nowhere in the state does, so um, that took me to Tennessee, so it was the, the the thrill of the hunt. <laughs> <laughs> when and, and now, of course, you you were employed by the Fayetteville Public Library when it was on Texas Street, correct? The old uh, Fulbright, Fulbright, which Library. was a great building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. beautiful place. Um, and I came back in '95. Um, Holly, my wife, and I moved back here, and she went to work at Washington Regional in the development office for Bill Rogers, and I was a uh, hired to to manage the adult services department. And for two years there, um, I was working with a wonderful team of reference librarians and genealogy um, librarians. And uh, then, uh, as uh, some folks know, um, Holly got pregnant and uh, I wanted to have the, her to have the choice of whether to continue to work or whether to, uh, to stay home. And uh, on $24,000 a year, it was not, I, I really couldn't do that there. So I decided I needed to step aside for and uh, see if I could help create that choice. So. When you were with Tyson for 
about 14 and a half, 14 and a half years. Mm -hmm. I mean, your resume, you've been promoted about every other year. So they <laughs> liked you. They liked you. Um, what can you take away? Well, first of all, let me ask, is it wrong for people to think, oh, the corporate world is going to be so much different than the nonprofit world? Well, yeah, I think I'll, the way I view it fundamentally is that it gets down to doing things through people. And people are people, whether they're wearing a suit or wearing, in my situation, wearing the khakis at Tyson. Um, it's a matter of having a common goal, um, organizing around how do we achieve it together. And so to me, um, there is uh, some differences around a sense of urgency um, in, the, in the corporate space. If you fail every quarter to deliver, then you're not going to be around very long. Um, but uh, just like you have the corporate shareholders, you've got public shareholders here who have high expectations and they want a high return on their invested dollars, the tax dollars that drive the library. Um, they want a, a return on that too. Um, and so there's a sense of responsibility um, and a sense of being able to, to give back what people are, or at least provide what, what people are investing point out one thing that I did miss uh, when I left the Fayetteville Public Library is that sense of serving, um, helping people um, fill their needs, whatever that was, entertainment, um, whether or not, you know, whether they needed access to some particular document or whatever. Um, it was helping people, serving people, um, and um, that's what drives me, and, and hopefully that'll keep me from uh, just, you know, falling under a mountain of books. <laughs> <laughs> when, when's your first day? I start uh, February 8th. Uh -huh. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to the neighborhood. All right. Yeah.